Hi guys, it's Steffi from The Novelty Corner and welcome back to my channel. I have a slightly different angle because we are heading into autumn here in Australia and thus I am losing all of my natural lighting which means I have to light with artificial light and it's sort of driving me nuts so I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I am here with my Books Beside My Bed video for the week of the 18th to the 24th of March. This week I read two books and finally finished Frankenstein. I read a total of 788 pages and my yearly reading total is up to 45 books. Okay, hopefully I just fixed some of the color balance in the video because it was looking really weird, but let's get straight into the books. I'm gonna start with Frankenstein because this is a book I've been reading over the last month. This edition was published in 2015 by Barnes and Noble, but the story itself is 100 years old, which is why I was reading it this year. It is the story of Victor Frankenstein who went on to create a monster and everyone knows sort of the pop culture social media sort of story of Frankenstein the book I found to be a little bit different overall I gave it 3.5 out of 5 stars I really enjoyed the language in it and you're going to see me wrap this up in a video on Friday and I have been talking about it every Friday for the last three weeks so I won't go into too much detail here but it wasn't too bad I enjoyed it and basically my classic read of the year which sounds really bad but guys me and classics yeah I in some ways I wish I'd read this all in one hit but because I was doing the read-along I did break it up into reading a little bit each week so maybe I'd have enjoyed it a little bit more if I read it all in one hit but 3.5 is still pretty good then I received a copy of One Way by SJ Morden this is a 2018 release it actually comes out in April and it is an adult science fiction book being released here in Australia by Hachette. I won a copy from NetGalley. I also happen to have a copy coming from Dimmix for review as well. So this was a book that I was quite excited about because it is a murder mystery set on Mars. And the premise of this story, there is a corporation on Earth who is trying to set up a Mars base. And so they decide that in order to save money, they're going to train life sentence serving prisoners up in the skills that they need to build this base and then use them as cheap labor essentially because they're simply trading one life sentence for another once they go to mars chances are they're not coming home that all goes quite well until they do land on mars and then suddenly these accidents start happening and the prisoners are dying for very strange reasons the main character frank kittredge sort of becomes obsessed with unraveling the mystery and thus it becomes a whodunit set on Mars. Overall, I gave this book 3.5 out of 5 stars. It was reasonably predictable, but it was still an enjoyable read. I love anything that's set on Mars. I think The Martian has basically just ruined me for stories set on Mars so that that's the standard that I'm expecting. And this was quite different because it's not a science fiction book. It is a murder mystery. It just happens to take place on Mars, but it was still enjoyable and I did enjoy it. The last book that I read this week was on my Kindle and that was The Radical Element edited by Jessica Spotswood. It is the second collection of short stories that follows on from A Tyranny of Petticoats, which I read last week. And I will leave a link up above if you would like to check out that video and see my thoughts on those stories. I had a similar sort of reaction to The Radical Element, which is being, which has been published by Candlewick Press this month in March. Overall, I gave it 3.5 out of 5 stars. I really like the short stories. I love that they focus on amazing women and these female characters do all sorts of things that defy social expectations. I love that. My reason for not rating it higher is very similar to the reason why I didn't rate The Tyranny of Petticoats higher. There are just some stories that I didn't connect with because I'm not part, I'm not American and that's totally fine. I think they're still amazing stories. I think it's really important to read about them and I think a lot of people will get something out of them. But that personal connection I didn't have. It is historical fiction so that is always a bit hit and miss with me as well. But I did really love the stories and there were some in there that I thought were absolutely phenomenal. There's authors that you will love and I will leave a link to, in the description to the Goodreads page for it so you can check out who the authors actually are. I did read it quite quickly as well. It look it's one I would recommend and if you like historical fiction you'll probably really enjoy it and if you like American history you'll probably really enjoy it as well so that's something to take into consideration. So those are my books for last week. This week I'm taking part in the Superhero Athon. My TBR for that went up last week so you'll see the 10 books that I'm attempting to read in two weeks. Thank goodness for holidays and thank goodness for novellas and graphic novels which I'm hoping to knock out a couple of things this weekend. Now because next weekend is Easter I'm hoping that my books beside my bed video will go up next Monday 
as per usual here in Australia. But if it doesn't, it's just because I've been away over the weekend. I should be getting back on Easter Sunday, which should give me time to film, but things happen. So if it's a little bit late, I apologize, but it is coming. In the comments, let me know what you have been reading this week. I hope you've had an amazing week. I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're having an amazing day and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.